fundamental circuit matrix. It's a sub matrix of circuit matrix in which all the rows are corresponds to fundamental cycles in a graph. For example, if I have a graph G which has got 5 vertices So, this is my graph, we name the vertices, we name the edges, say I will have one more edge over here, A, B, C, D, E, F and G. These are the edges. Now, with respect to this graph, if I have a spanning tree, which includes these edges, okay, edge A, F, E and C, spanning tree with respect to this G is like this. One, two, it should contain all the vertices. Um, this is F and this is H C. Okay. With respect to this spanning tree, I can write these fundamental cycles or fundamental circuits. Say first one fundamental circuit is adding a core to this spanning tree. I am getting a cycle that cycle is nothing but the fundamental cycle. So, if for this if I add this one edge that is B then I am going to get A, F, C and B which has got one chord. So, that will be the fundamental cycle. So, first cycle is A, B, C and F. Second cycle is a, F, if I add this one edge that is edge G between 2 and 4, so that will form a cycle which is a fundamental cycle. So, A, F, G is another fundamental cycle. One more I can write that is by adding this edge, this chord to the spanning tree. So, this will be the circuit, a fundamental circuit formed by the edges E, F and D. So, these three are the possible fundamental circuits. Now, similar to the uh, circuit matrix, we are writing fundamental circuit matrix by taking these fundamental cycles. We are taking cycles along rows and edges along the columns. So, for this, if I write a fundamental cycle, I can name the edges in any order. I will write the edges here. I will take it in this order B, G, D. I am taking chords first, then A, C, E, and F. Why I am writing like this? I will let you know. The fundamental circuit matrix is denoted by B, F. I am taking fundamental cycles along rows. So, first cycle, second, the third. If the edge B is there in the fundamental cycle 1, then the entry is 1. If this edge is not there, then the value is 0. F1 I have got as A, B, C, F. So, A, B, C, F. These edges are there in F1. So, rest of the entries are zeros. Then F2 contains edges A, F, G, A, F, G. Rest are zeros. Then the third circuit contains edges E, F, D, E, F and D. 
zero 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 zero. F two has A F G. I'm sorry, I have already written G. So A F G here. This entry is one. I'm sorry. This entry is one. So here I'm getting fundamental cycle matrix. You can observe one thing. This first part is identity matrix, and this is another part remaining sub matrix of B F. In fact, this whole matrix is a sub matrix of circuit matrix B for the graph G. I'm I'm writing fundamental circuit matrix in this manner. In fact, this is same as writing. I mu along with some sub matrix say B T. What is I mu? I mu is identity matrix of order identity matrix of order M minus N plus one. I'll tell you how it comes. And B T is another remaining. Remaining mu cross n minus one sub matrix corresponding to branches of the spanning tree sub matrix corresponding to branches of spanning tree. To write it like this, I have taken first chords and then I have written the uh, branches of the spanning tree so that I can write fundamental circuit matrix in this manner. This is helpful when I have to find out the rank of fundamental circuit matrix or rank of circuit matrix. See permutation of any rows and or columns do not affect this BF. I can change this arrangement, no problem. It will not affect BF. Suppose I have a graph G with n number of vertices and m number of edges in G, then graph has n number of vertices and m number of edges. Okay. Then this BF is of order M minus N plus 1 cross M because the number of fundamental circuits is M minus N plus 1 because each fundamental circuit is produced by one chord and we know that Spanning tree should contain n minus 1 edges. Spanning tree should contain n minus 1 edges, right, since it is a tree. Therefore, number of edges I need to delete from G, huh, which has got m edges. G has got m edges, and spanning tree should contain n minus 1 edges. Right, because number of edges in any tree is n minus 1. Graph G has m edges to make spanning tree have n minus 1 edges. I am removing these n minus 1 edges from G. G ha had m minus 1 ed m edges and I am removing n minus 1 edges from m so that I am getting a fundamental circuit of mat, uh, of order m mi m minus n minus 1 in fact this is called circuit rank now i am using this to prove rank of a circuit matrix as m minus n plus 1 let us prove it 
theorem it says if B is a circuit matrix of a connected graph G with n vertices and m edges then rank of a circuit matrix B is m minus n plus 1. So, I have already mentioned fundamental circuit matrix can be written in this form where I mu is identity matrix of order m minus n plus 1 and this is remaining sub matrix corresponds to spanning tree. Now, from this I can write rank of B f or fundamental circuit matrix which is equal to rank is nothing but num maximum number of linearly independent rows. So, here in this case this is there are mu rows which is nothing but m minus n plus 1. This I have mentioned fundamental circuit matrix when I consider how many fundamental circuits I can form that is m minus n minus 1 number of fundamental cycles is nothing but m minus n minus 1. Okay. Each fundamental circuit is being produced by one call. So, uh, I know spanning tree should have n minus 1 edges and number of edges which is to be deleted from G is m minus n minus 1. Therefore, fundamental uh, number of fundamental circuits possible is m minus n minus 1. So, I am taking fundamental cycles along the rows. So, how many fundamental cycles are possible that will give me the number of rows and these rows are linearly independent. Therefore, rank of fundamental circuit is m minus n plus 1. Since I know a fundamental circuit matrix is a sub matrix of circuit matrix circuit matrix B. So, I can write rank of B is greater than or equal to rank of B f. Therefore, I can say rank of B greater than or equal to m minus n plus 1. This is equation 1. Now, I need to prove rank of B is less than or equal to m minus n plus 1. For that sake, let me take A matrix A which is incident matrix of G. Let A be the incident incidence matrix of G, we know and my last video have proved A into B transpose is congruent to 0 mod 2. So, I am using this and I am also using Sylvester theorem from Sylvester's theorem rank of when product is equal to 0 rank of the product is sum of their ranks which must be less than or equal to the common interest. So, so rank of A plus rank of B transpose which is less than or equal to M. Before that, I will let you know what is Sylvester theorem. Say suppose this is the Sylvester theorem. Suppose I have matrix Q is of order say K cross N. Matrix Q is of order K cross N and matrix R is of order N cross P. Okay, then rank of QR is 
greater than or equal to rank of Q plus rank of R minus L. Okay. But if I have product of Q R as 0, product of these two matrix is 0, in that case rank of Q plus rank of R is less than or equal to the number of common entries less than or equal to L. So, thus I am using here, here I have got product A B transpose equal to congruent to 0 mod 2 therefore, rank of A plus rank of B transpose is less than or equal to the num number of common entries that is M. So, I will rewrite that rank of A plus rank of B transpose is same as writing rank of B ok which is less than or equal to M same as I can rewrite this rank of B I want. So, rank of B is less than or equal to M minus rank of A. Rank of A, A is N minus 1 we know that. So, rank of incidency matrix is N minus 1 M minus N minus 1. So, that this will be less than or equal to M minus N plus 1. This is the second relation. First relation is rank of B is greater than or equal to M minus N plus 1. Here I am getting rank of B less than or equal to M minus N plus 1. Therefore, from 1 and 2 I can write rank of circuit matrix B is equal to M minus N plus 1. Suppose I have a graph G with uh, say K components, K components, a disconnected graph with the K components, then this rank of B is M minus N plus K. Rank of cycle matrix is M minus N plus K for a graph with k components.